Hey guys, so this week for me, as you know, hasn't gone quite to plan. So I'm still uh, struggling a little bit. But what I've done here is this is the challenge. It's, it's basically, it really goes upon the elements of what I teach anyway. So it's quite cool. Um, just trying to put myself around a little bit. And I think the idea is to start this the first week in April, the, like the first working day. And I think it's something like the fourth. Let me just check. Uh, March. Yeah, so you would do this. The five day energy challenge would be the start of the Monday, the 4th of April. So I think even though I said I was going to do the call tonight, uh, I think stick to your guns with what you're doing and we're bringing this in because pretty much this mirrors what we do anyway, but just a bit more emphasis on it. And we will do this call on Tuesday, which is the 29th at 6 p.m. back to schedule that. I'm just sorry about this week. It just oof, sapped my energy. So this is what we're going to do. We look at the five-day energy plan um, and I'm just going to jump for some of this. It's really like at the moment, um, I haven't got a huge appetite. <laughs> so I'm living on caffeine and not the ideal thing because I just get a slump in the afternoon and then I'm, I'm struggling. So it's about giving you some natural energy. And it's based on what we do anyway. So you do have a lot more energy than you think. Um, this is kind of like, I might use this as a, as a, a lead, what I call a lead gen for like the free group, <clears throat> but we're obviously not going to give them as much details help as I do you guys. Cause like, um, you are what it's all about. Um, let's try and move that a bit further. I can't, um, Facebook group win anyway. It's our Facebook group. There's a guide for the hows and whys of the daily energy section actions. There's a daily print, uh, cheat sheets print out at the end of the book. Um, and there will be emails that will go with this each day. There'll be six emails in total. Um, and what I need you to do is to fill out the cheat sheets to monitor progress. <clears throat> but like I say, we will do this in depth on Tuesday, 29th of March at 6 p.m. Um, and here's things like this, what you know for a fact, this goes what I, uh, my philosophy, my, my ethics. Uh, journal record your thoughts, sort of how you feel through the five days. Um, I must admit, I'll be honest, I haven't done that the last couple of days. I haven't really felt like doing it. Um, we need to rebuild your strength, your balance, your energy is massive, uh, mind, soul. Um, it's just some compliance. Um, energy is the first step where it all comes from. Um, it's time for you to create your own energy level and own it. And that's why I say about the 12 weeks is really trying to teach you the ability to own part of the expression but it's to own your own shit really it's like this is your stuff you've got to deal with it um rather than having a personal trainer year after year after year or going to slimming world or weight watchers this is me teaching you what you need to know in 12 weeks 16 weeks 20 weeks whatever um simple stuff and i know for fact i've told you this before that if you sit at a computer all day and then you go to the gym and do an hour's work in the evening you can't negate the ill effects it's, it's a big cliche but sitting as you smoke it kind of is correct so even if you've got you at a desk and you've got a busy job it's get up and do walk around the house do 10 press-ups do 10 squats kind of stuff that's noticing the times of days <clears throat> that make you feel more energized pay attention pay attention to your self-talk is it positive and motivating because half the time we're doing that realizing because that's how the brain works we run on autopilot um and think about why you want to feel more energy always why you've got to dig deep on this one uh be intentional set an intention this is like affirmations super super important like i said i'm not going to crank too much into this uh, because we're going to cover this on tuesday in depth so i really want you guys there on tuesday night at 6 p.m uh checklist you got to move your body diet water sunshine fresh air i mean the weather is perfect perfect for this now i think for the next week or so it looks pretty good as well uh, meditate and mindfulness. We did mindfulness last week. Uh, meditation is a big one as well. Um, love my hate him. Anthony Robbins, I think he is. Tony Robbins is quite cool. Um, obviously, he's a very wealthy guy. But what he does talk is he does have some good stuff. The higher your energy level, the more efficient your body. The more efficient your body, the better you feel, and the more you use your talent to produce outstanding results. Now, whether that's in personal life, fitness, sports, uh professional life, whatever. It's pretty much all the same. Um, move your body. So I'll explain why we do that. 
Uh, I just dropped a link in here while I have a 12-week program. Um, and then we talk about food. And what happens, and I explain this to you because this is kind of my forte. Um, I explain this to you. Uh, hydration. Uh, tips of drinking water. We've used it. Uh, the US is slightly ahead, of us, uh, slightly ahead of us on a lot of things, so I, I tend to pick with them sometimes. Um, how to get more water, how to get outside. Um, how to practice meditation, which is really good. I don't think it's too, too woo woo. I think it's a really important thing. Um, this, interestingly enough, this was Nikki, right? Nikki was did a six week in house program with me, so I, I was training her in a group environment with probably 20, 30 other people following a diet plan, this was 11 weeks. It was two stone and 11% body fat in uh, 11 weeks. Yeah, it was incredible. The first six weeks of stone and then just flanned out. Here she's about 40, I think about 42. She had a toddler and a baby and her own business with about 20 people working for her. Yeah, it was about 10% body fat, 11 weeks and uh, 24 pounds. It was just under two stone actually. Um. Build a bigger battery. Um, this is really important. We need energy boosters. So we'll cover that. Uh, sleep. Uh, you know my story on that. This comes back into it. It's really um, also setting your morning up for success. You know, like I want to say about cold shower in the morning. Don't turn your phone on. Uh, do your weigh-ins. Get some exercise in. It's, you, this all ties in with exactly what I teach. I'm just coming at it from another angle over a five-day period. <clears throat> um, does exercise early in the morning add energy to your day or do you feel better if you work out later on um, I would say purely because most of you are very busy and working I would definitely do it first thing in the morning because you just know you can crank out 5,000 steps or work out uh, chronic stress because you know about how it damages the body um, stress is important when you're doing fitness training and strength training and it's important for survival but it's not designed to be there every single day uh, just ticking that away in the background. It's not good for us at all. Not good for blood pressure, not good for fat loss. Um, there you go, some of these things. Um, Self-talk, we'll talk about that. Um, that's one big one I'm on about. Um, this one is huge and hugely important. I explained this as well on Tuesday. Um, this is David, just a quick one. This was in lockdown. The first, I think it was 20 kilos in 12 weeks. And 20 kilos is, what is that? That's 44 pounds. Uh, he was just shy, well, three stone and three stone, two pounds that was in 12 weeks and gave up booze. No booze whatsoever. He just decided to go sober. Um, commit to each day. Uh, commitment's a big one. You know, like with, when you do stuff with me, I want you to commit. Um, and this is kind of how I work. If people ask me some questions and they show up and they tell me this and they ask this and ask that, then it, it works really, really well. So this will be Tuesday's call. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, here's your cheat sheet. And what we need to do really is most of you should have Wi-Fi printers. You can print this from your phone, your iPad, your computer. But just for five days, we're going to look at the right food, water, outdoor work, meditation, movement. It could be strength training, push-ups or whatever. Uh, reflection what what gives me the biggest energy boost for the day it might be family it might be work accomplishments it might be just seeing a friend that kind of stuff you know um, and then I've got uh, two ton of references here so I hope that makes sense um, and talk to you shortly